190 plus pips running in profit on this gold trade i'm long gold bought gold and my stop loss is at break even so i'm risk free on this trade and i'm simply trying to milk as many pips as i can from the market from this gold trade and in today's video what i'm going to show you is how to trade gold during forex news with this powerful high impact news trading strategy so that you can trade like a smart trader and follow the smart money Batman, Batman, Batman. So the reason why I was trading gold is specifically if we look at Forex Factory on uh, Wednesday the 16th of December at 3.30 p.m. There was an indication on Forex Factory that USD was going to have high impact news at 3.30 p.m. Specifically core retail sales and retail sales month on month. And as a smart trader, whenever we see high impact news on a currency, we know that there's going to be a high probability for extreme volatility in the market and also a high probability that the banks and the smart money are going to be participating in the market at that time. So USD is the currency that the smart trader wanted to focus on, which is why I was looking at gold because gold is paired against the dollar so that was the first indicator to see on the forex factory news which currency that we need to be focusing on for the day so i chose gold and what i needed to do is i needed to identify and draw my supply and demand levels so i can see exactly which interest levels the smart money are going to be focusing on and specifically interest levels where it's a high probability sell zone and a high prob probability buy zone for me to be trading in line with the smart money so as you can see i've already identified the levels over here so for those of you that have the free video training i'm going to show you exactly where i got this level these levels so this level at the top here is my supply level the second le uh, the level here is my demand level number one and this level here is demand level number two now if i go specifically to where i identified these levels so for those of you who have my free video training can see exactly what i'm talking about my supply level i identified on the 8th of december on the 1700 spike and candle uh, that's my supply level and then demand level number two Demand level number two wasn't really necessary for this trade, but anyway, uh, I identified demand level number two on the 14th of December on the 1630 spike and candle. And then demand level number one, which is actually what set up this trade, was on the 15th of December on the 1530 uh, spike and candle. Okay, so I identified my supply and demand levels where my demand level is my high probability buy zone and my supply level is my high probability sell zone. So you can see this demand level was identified on the 15th of December, which is before the news was released on the 16th. So I already knew on the from the 15th what i was going to do when price approached this level okay and this is why this is so powerful because you already know with high probability what direction you need to be trading before the news is even released so we had what we had over there on the 15th is price pushed off from the demand level and then on the 16th okay what happened was price was pushing up to go and test the supply level but didn't go and test the supply level and then what happened is when the news was released uh, the usd uh, core retail sales and uh, retail sales month on month what happened was price was actually pushed down back to the demand level so we know the smart money pushed price back down to the uh, the demand level doing what basically inducing the retail amateur traders to start selling because we already know at the demand level banks are looking to be buying so we know the retail amateur traders have been induced to take the opposite side of the trade okay because that's what dumb traders do they take the opposite side of the trade of what the smart money is doing and price came back tested the demand level as you can see over there let's zoom in on the chart there so you can see exactly what's happening price came in boom tested the level with high volume 
boom again tested the level with high volume again which was our indicator and we knew exactly what the clue what the smart money was trying to do okay you can even see it tested it again over there with more high volume so inducing more sellers inducing the dumb retail traders to start selling so that the banks can start buying and you as a smart trader know this okay you don't want to trade like a retail amateur trader you want to trade like the smart money so when price came tested this demand level and then tested it with high volume already you knew with confidence time to start buying so pull the trigger hit the buys and get in on this trade and that's exactly what i did and as you can see price bounced off the demand level and went up to the supply level so again uh when price comes to the supply level this is where we want to start monitoring the price action and seeing are there potentially going to be any uh sell signals where again on your buy trades you want to start looking at uh, taking your profits off the table and start looking to sell but as we can see when price came to the supply level literally just broke through the supply level and continued to push up which is what is happening now which is why i'm still long on gold on this trade so when price breaks the supply level as you can see over there what you need to do is you want to identify where the next supply level that price is going to go and test and again for those of you we have my uh, free video trading i'm going to show you exactly where that next supply level is and for those of you who want to know how i identify and draw my supply and demand levels like a smart trader to help me follow the smart money click the link in the description for the free video training so the next supply level which i can see over here above supply level number one okay again very important the next supply level needs to be somewhere above the most recent supply level so already over there high volume spike price pushing down indicating a possible supply level so i go to the 15 minute time frame from the four hour to actually draw this level okay so i can see exactly what level the bank stepped into the market okay with high volatility or high volume so that i can know exactly what interest levels the banks are focusing on so again highest volume spike um on that day on the 17th of november is this high volume spike over here on the 1630 candle okay and then boom put my um horizontal line on that candle indicating my supply level as you can see over there so if i go and push back to the 15 minute uh, 15 minute chart to the more recent price what we want to see now is we want to see when price goes and pushes up to the supply level again to start monitoring our trades and start looking for signals for possible sell signals at the supply level over there because again that's how you trade like a smart trader and you follow the smart money so the key to trading gold during forex news is to be able to identify and draw your supply and demand levels using this powerful indicator called forex volume so that you can trade in line with the smart money and not in line with the dumb retail traders where you have a lower probability of being more consistent and profitable oh, hey, millionaire. if you enjoyed the video leave a like comment and subscribe and hit that bell Batman, Batman, Batman.